Hey guys, my name is Olivia. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who stumbled upon this, thanks for clicking on my video. For like the 2,000 subscribers that I have on here, thanks so much for staying subscribed for like the past 10 years, even though I have been completely MIA. I might be exaggerating, it's probably more like eight years. I think the last video that I uploaded was in 2012, and it was probably a cover video. Side note, I apologize if you guys hear some chewing in the background. I am the proud mom of two huskies. Two, which is quite a handful. There's only two of them. Uh, <laughs> anyways, there's a reason why I'm here. A lot has changed in my life. And a lot of that has to do with the title of this video. Why I stopped making music. When I first started this channel years ago when I was a teenager, I did a lot of cover videos and like then turned into my own music and I started doing like music vlogs. And I decided that I missed, I missed this part of my life. There's a reason for my presence not being active on YouTube. So I'm here to explain before I even further continue. Anyways, I figured <laughs> Going back to this video. So as I was saying, I figured I owed an explanation to the viewers that I had. Uh, the 2,000 subscribers that I still have on this channel, or even just the people that were curious about, hey, whatever happened to her? Or why did you stop making music? Or those kind of questions that I still kind of get on a frequent basis in my own personal life whenever I run into anybody that knows that I, I did music. Again, I apologize if my dogs are a big distraction. Would love to introduce you guys in a future video. So for those of you who are not familiar with my background, I had always been kind of involved in music at a very young age. Started recording my own covers here on YouTube. I wrote my first song when I was 15 called Can't Say Goodbye, which I think you can actually still find on iTunes. Some of this stuff like makes me secretly like cringe because like, I was a kid and obviously it's not like how I feel like I would sound like now or, or who knows, maybe I still sound the same. But I'm, I'm still very proud of the song that I wrote. That opened me up into a whole new world of writing my own music. Upon doing that, we started to record my own music. I realized like, hey, if I'm really gonna make myself, I don't know, stand out, writing your own music is a, is a really big advantage. I was 18 years old when I started recording music that would have been on my first album. One of those was Not This Time and Nunca Mas, which are music videos that I have available here on my channel if you're interested in watching that. They are from when I was 18 years old, so a little different. <laughs> I had a manager, I was traveling also to Miami and Mexico and meeting with these people and one of the people that I met with was actually really interested in, in working with me. He was a writer and director. I don't really remember how it happened but we sent him some of my music for him to listen to and he was inspired by the songs that I was going to have on my album and one of them specifically He was actually really inspired by one of the songs that I had written for my album and wrote a screenplay for me, which was insane. It was, I was like, what? Uh, very flattering and ultimately very cool. He wrote a movie and actually named it after the song that he really liked and was inspired by. Uh, which is called Light Up My Heart. That was a whole other experience. I know that there's some movie vlogs that I was creating called The Making Of, 
where I showcased some of the stuff that we were doing to prepare for the filming of the video, um, video, the movie, and that was a very, very exciting experience. I felt like all these things were happening out of nowhere just because I started recording my own songs and writing my own music. And we were in LA filming the video, we did auditions for the other characters, there was production. We were filming the first few scenes and then production got placed on hold. Essentially, we were waiting for investors or funds to come through and they ultimately didn't. And so we had to stop filming and kind of put it on pause. And it was on pause for a very long time until eventually it just never happened. I came home and obviously was a little bit discouraged, but still had hope that we were gonna continue this journey. Kept myself pretty active. At this time, I obviously had graduated high school, but I wasn't going to college. Hadn't been to college, wasn't working or anything like that, so I kept myself busy by continuing to write music and perform at open mics and cafes in San Diego and in LA, because I'm, I'm from San Diego. And during these trips, in a few instances, I would meet music producers that were interested in working with me that you know really liked my music video or really liked my music and they were, saw potential in me and expressed an interest in working with me musically. Dad would be excited for me. Throughout this whole time I, I think I need to say that my dad supported me in everything. He was with me. <laughs> He was with me every step of the way. On every audition, he would drive me. He would take me to all my music classes. I have a really awesome dad. And, and not in like a stage dad kind of way, more so in just the way a parent should be and making sure that their kid is, is in good hands and okay. And so, I would meet these producers who were interested to work with me and then we would come home from LA to San Diego like on the way drive home like can you believe we just met these people? Can you believe that this actually happened? I felt like I was making things happen on my own and then I would come home from LA and get messages from these producers that I would meet with say like hey we're really interested and really excited to work with you it was nice meeting you uh, just one thing if you do want to work with us Dad would have to be out of the picture. that always kind of like confused me I didn't really understand why I was 20 at the time I understand like I'm over 18 but more so it, it was like they saw it as a problem, which I wasn't okay with. And it's not like I wasn't old enough or anything like that. It was more so just because you hear a lot of things about the entertainment industry, about the music industry. And if you notice, a lot of artists make sure that they surround themselves with people that they can trust. A good support system that can help keep them grounded or, you know, just something where you meet a bunch of different people from all parts of the world and it's nice to have just a group of people that you feel comfortable with. Yeah, obviously my family was that for me. And so when they would tell me these things like, dad has to be out of the picture, I didn't really understand why and it also made me very uncomfortable. One, why does my dad have to be out of the picture? He's just here to support me. When like Taylor Swift always has like her family with her. Mila Cabello now, like she's going, through, has her mom with her. So. It, it was just something that I didn't really understand. Why was this an issue? My dad was like, what do you want to do? He had always given me this advice that kind of just always stuck with me. He said that you have your head and you have your heart, but if it doesn't feel good in your gut, like if it doesn't feel right in your gut, there's probably something wrong. That's the how this felt. It just didn't feel right in my, in my gut. And so I said, you know, thanks, but no thanks. I also don't know how legit they are, if they're telling the truth. That actually happened to me a couple of times and it was pretty discouraging to see that like, they, you know, they want to work with me but they don't want to deal with my dad and, and it's not that my dad was like, like a dad manager like I said, like my dad let me talk, he let me do all the, he just stood on the side and made sure that I was good. I had a problem with that and part of it was I was young. I was younger. I was 20. I grew up in a very family oriented household. I just, I wasn't okay with just throwing my dad aside just because I had this big opportunity 
when he had supported me the whole way and also I just I just didn't feel safe I didn't feel safe doing it at all my dad kept encouraging me to keep going to LA keep doing these auditions but I felt pretty defeated by that by that notion of you have to get rid of your support system and you have to move to LA by yourself I didn't want for someone to think that I was this naive little girl from San Diego um, that could sign in just any contract you know not pay attention to the fine print Whatever it may be, whatever circumstances, like I just, I didn't feel right about it. So I told my dad, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take a break and focus on myself right now. I'm probably gonna go to school, kind of see what, what plan B is. So I got a part-time job. Then I started going to school, graduated from university after I transferred from community college. And then shortly after I graduated, I was able to get a full-time job in another industry outside of retail. So I did that for about six years and have been outside of college for almost three years now. So that's the story of, of what happened to me and my music. I figured I, I owed you guys an explanation if I'm going to be more active here on YouTube and post more weekly videos and, and things like that. I do want to share though that I do have songs that have never been released before. I wanted to just ask you guys if, if that would be something you guys would be interested in. Please keep in mind that these songs were recorded when I was 18 years old. Pop music has changed. Music sounds have changed since then, but I, I still think that they are worthy of, of being heard. I just wanted to see if you guys would be interested in hearing that. If so, please drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. I have a couple ideas of what I want to share or just videos I'd like to make for you guys. If you guys have certain things that you'd like to see or questions for me, go ahead and drop me a comment below. And if you guys enjoyed this video and like to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe because I do promise to be more active on this video. Also, I'm going to be making my Instagram public. So if you guys are interested in, in seeing what I post there as well, I post a lot of stories, mostly of my dogs. Feel free to follow me there. My Instagram handle is, do you want to tell them to go? It's Olivia Bonilla, uh, uh, just on Instagram. That's all for now. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.